What's up everyone, it is Andrew here and I'm going to give you your first look at the updated Philips Hue app. Welcome, it is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And uh, yeah, we are checking out the updated version four of the Philips Hue app. You guys were pretty excited when I showed you version three of the app when that dropped. So we're doing the same thing. We're gonna walk you through all the big changes, new features of the version four of the Philips Hue app. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. So there are a few things to know about this software update. First, it does require a mandatory update to your Philips Hue bridge. So make sure you go ahead and run through that before you can play with any of the new features of the app. Once you've gone through the app update, you're gonna be presented with a few kind of getting started guides on what's new with version four. The big thing is that Hue wanna highlight is this new ultimate control, uh, just the new layout and how easy it is to control your lights, which is faster and has better performance and more features than it did before. Uh, the next big feature they want to talk about are routines. So they've switched routines to automations, which honestly makes a lot of sense. We hear automations used in a lot of other smart home platforms and routines was less common. So automations, I think, makes a lot more sense. There's also additional flexibility with these new automations. And then there's new better location-based automations, including support for multiple people. So if you have multiple people in your home that are all using this, you can all do that now through the updated Hue app. So here we are in the new version of the Philips Hue app. So of course, here is my home as a whole. All my different rooms from HomeKit have synced over to it, just like they did before. Um, from the little ellipsis at the top, I can go ahead and add lights. I can add new rooms or zones or sort my rooms and zones that I already have. We can go ahead and back out of that. I can see all my rooms here and I can easily control any of them right here from, my, uh, from the home view here. I can go ahead and uh, swipe left and right on the slider to change the brightness very quickly. I can also go ahead and just turn it on or off as a whole. If I tap into it, I get more control. I again have the whole room controls right there at the top. And I again have a little ellipsis that I can tap to add lights, edit the room, or just delete the room altogether. We're gonna go ahead and cancel that out. I have all my scenes here at the top that I can set. So I can set, you know, my, my nighttime scene, whatever it is, I'll go ahead and adjust my lights for me. I can control and edit that scene with those little controls right next to it. If you go all the way to the right, there's the Hue Scene Gallery, where I have a bunch of different scenes that I can choose to add to my setup. There are a bunch of different ones here, very easy to pick and explore new color options. Down below, I have those individual scene controls or light controls. Uh, turn on my, turn on or off my nightstand lamp. lamp. I can pull it up and I can see all the different lights in my room and control what the colors they are, including the whites or colors and the intensity is down here on that lower right hand corner and go back out to my room as a whole and turn that light back on. So that's the new individual room control and individual light control in the updated version four of the Hue app. As I said, routines are now automations. You can see the different automations here, making sure this is enabled for the device. You can still get down to Hue Labs if you played with any of those options. You can tap on the plus button to add new automations. So whether it's like a wake up light, which can slowly come on in the morning, uh, go to sleep lights that go dim and then slowly turn off or just custom scenes based on whatever it is that you want to do. So time, day, uh, anything like that. So lots of controls for automations here in V4 of the uh, Hue app. We have Explore, which allows you to see what is new, shopping for additional Hue lights and uh, different things that work with Hue. And there's even apps we like, which are third party apps that work with Hue as well. Settings, pretty much what you'd expect. So we have my Hue bridge here at the top. I can see all of my lights here in the house, adding addition lights, seeing all the lights that I have. Go back, I have accessories, so any accessories that I have in my home. I still have a few, I have my Hue Tap, I've got kitchen sensors, uh, patio sensors, uh, the Aurora in the bedroom, lots of stuff like that. And then entertainment areas. Very neat for these entertainment areas. I can see my Hue light strip. I can see what it does, its control, its behavior. I can see light placement. It's like a faux 3D view of the room. So if I had additional lights in here, you'd actually see them placed in the room, which is very cool. I love this new uh, 3D kind of version for entertainment spaces. Get back out of there. Um, and then voice assistance is where you get into control Alexa or Google Assistant, but of course, Siri and HomeKit is right there at the top. And I said this assistant's name and my brilliant panel yelled at me. Don't say that assistant's name on a video, people. It'll get you bad comments. Um, widgets, you can control any widgets that you wanna add to your home screen and any shortcuts that you wanna add. So lots of stuff to love here. This is a big update to the Hue app for sure. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. Those are the big changes coming to the Hue app in version 
for lots of stuff to love. Now, typically I use my Hue setup through HomeKit, through Apple HomeKit, and I don't live in the Hue app all that much, like not day to day, but I still use it for a lot of things. There's some granular light changes that I do. Uh, there's the entertainment zones that I use for my Philips Hue gradient light strip around my TV. Um, and even the motion sensors, I think, are far more responsive and there's more features when you go through Hue versus going through HomeKit. So there's definitely stuff that I use the Hue app for. So whether you're in HomeKit, uh, you know, Google Assistant, or any of the smart home platform, it's still nice to be aware of the Hue app or if you just use the Hue app exclusively, you're gonna be pretty keen on what uh, Signify has added in its latest update. So again, let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and uh, maybe hang around for a little bit. We got some cool videos around here.